Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Mr. Campbell from mrcampbellrocks.com. Today I'm gonna to do a walkthrough on a Google Docs page setup. So a few things that you need to understand before you open a new Google Doc and change all of your page settings is that Google now has pre-set templates in a template gallery that will solve a lot of those old issues that we used to have in Google Docs. So for example, when we go to docs.google.com, you'll see that we have a template gallery here we have an MLA format, we have an APA format, we have resumes, we have project proposals. So when I click on template gallery, you'll see it'll open up all of these options here. So up till about you know three or four years ago, the MLA template was not available. And so I would teach students how to create that template from scratch uh, or an APA format from science classes. You'll notice they have the sixth and seventh edition. Now, one of the nice things about the uh, format or the templates from Google is it lets you know if there's any add-ons that you need to make that better. So let's just click on this MLA format here and open up a new document. You'll see here that this is set up with one inch margins on all sides, but it will, it will show you any extensions that you need to add to make that document work. For example, when adding bibliography, this will help you create big bibliography notes. So we're going to jump in a blank document to show you some of these details. So to do that, when we're in a blank document, we click on File, Page Setup. You have a lot of options here. So any of the changes that you set up can be made for a specific page or the entire document. Since this is a new document, we don't have any pages to apply this to. I can change this from portrait to landscape. Portrait is eight and a half by 11. Landscape obviously is the opposite of that. We can change all of our margins here. We can even change our page color. When we get everything the way that we want, we can actually set that as a default. Then I click OK. Anytime I open a new Google Doc, this will be my default settings. You'll notice that it has the cream color. I have the 0.25 margins here and it's set up in landscape mode. Now, if I wanna go back and change that, I go back to page setup underneath file, paper color will return to white, we'll go to portrait, and let's just say I want these all to be one inch margins. I set this as the default, click OK, and now I'm back to a basic MLA format here in this document. Now, one of the beautiful things about Google Docs is we can actually make these changes while we're in that document. So this is the previous MLA document that we had here. We're gonna highlight this page. You wouldn't do this in an MLA formatted document. Maybe it's a presentation document here, but we highlight the text or the page that we wanna make changes to. If I right click here, I can actually change an individual page right in the Google Doc from this option. You'll notice now that if I continue to go down to the document, this is in MLA format, but these two pages are landscape mode with the one inch margins on the side. To turn that back, I would just right click again, those changes, and I'm back to the normal page setup. In your template gallery, you may also have templates that are specific to your district or your organization. Those can be shared within your organization. You'll notice again that some of these require third-party add-ons, Lucidchart, Pandadoc, to get some of these. So let's pull up the Geometric newsletter here. I want to show you how that in-document change happens. You'll notice that I just made that first page into landscape mode. I can click Command-Z to undo that. Again, I just took this picture, right-click, change page to landscape mode, and that's what that looks like. Again, we'll undo that. This is just a quick tutorial to show you how to manage and navigate through the page setup in Google Docs. Thank you for watching this video all the way till the end, and thank you for what you do for kids on a daily basis. If this video saved you time, energy, and frustration, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share it with your teacher friends. You can subscribe by clicking up here, or you can watch another video either here or here. Again, I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.